Hello. In this video, I will show you a very interesting Easter egg in 3D LUT Creator. What is this Easter egg and how to activate it? I'll go to the tab with curves. Now I need to press the secret key combination. I hold down Control, Shift, and double tap on G key. So the shortcut is Control, Shift, G, G. Here's what happened. I got two new sliders at the bottom of Curves tab. What do they do for us? I'm going to switch to regular RGB curves. I will adjust them a little differently to better see the color of the curves. As you can see, these are ordinary RGB curves. Now I'm going to move the left slider and let's see what happens to the curves. That is, you can change the channels of the curves using the slider. For example, in the extreme left position, I get the curves cyan, magenta, and yellow instead of RGB curves. But how are they different from ordinary CMYK curves? I will switch to a new version of Edit by pressing Ctrl Alt 2 and open common CMYK curves. As you probably already know, there are two types of color models additive and subtractive. CMYK is a subtractive color model. Therefore, if I raise the yellow CMYK curve up, the saturation of the yellow in the image will decrease. I go back to my modified RGB curves by pressing Ctrl Alt 1. RGB is an additive color model, so my new CMY curves will also be additive. Let's lift the yellow curve up. Here's the result. The image seemed to be flooded with sunlight. Compare the results with raising a regular CMYK curve. To increase the saturation of the yellow in CMYK, the curve should be bent down, but the picture will be darker. What happens if I bend down the yellow curve in the additive color model? I'll adjust the color of the curve and make it closer to orange. That's what happened. It looks very similar to a decrease of white balance. But let's try to make the same look with the typical white balance. I'll go to the new version of Edit by pressing Ctrl Alt 3. And then I go to AB tab and adjust white balance. Now compare it with the curve. I press Ctrl Alt 1. Notice how softer the picture looks after using the new curve in the additive color model. Once again, this is how the common white balance works. Let's try to load some more photos. I will fill it with sunlight with the help of a curve. The hue looks slightly greenish, but this can be adjusted using the left slider. I'm going to shift curves color to red. Here's before, here is after. This effect works great in photographs with the sun in the frame. You can make highlights warmer and shadows colder. I'll load another photo. Here's a photo before, here is after. Let me show you how to grade an image with a single magenta curve in additive color model. I'm going to make the reverse S-shaped curve and that's what happened. Here's before, here is after. Grading with just one curve. Let's see how this will work in CMYK. Now, I have not CMYK, but RGBK curves. In the standard CMYK, the cyan curve influences both green and blue colors. Now I'm going to make the greens richer using the green curve in subtractive color model. Here, I additionally will use the second slider which adjusts the color gamut of the new color model. Here is before, here is after. Please note that only the green color changes, the warm shades have not changed. I'll load another photo. I'm going to make the greens warmer using the green curve. Here is before, here is after. Let's make a grading with a single curve. Here is the result, before and after. That's all. There are only a few people who know about this feature, although it has been in the program for a very long time. I hope you can find this knowledge a worthy application. Take care and see you in the next video.